Hello, my name is Dante Matthews. I just wanted to talk about a few things. So the incident that happened during the Columbine shooting, during the, I think it was the, well, let me see, the Columbine shooting and also the Newton, um, the elementary school shooting, I'm just going to refer to it as that. I think both happened because of crazy, weird guys that were just mentally unstable. Um, do I think that there should be more gun control be to prevent future events like that to ever happen again? Yes. So I am pro-gun control. As far as people having to take a, a crazy test to make sure they're not crazy, um, uh, maybe, maybe not. I mean, I don't know. Like, then again, I'm, I might be crazy. So, there you go. Advice from a crazy person. <laughs> um, as far as, like, I mean, because I don't know. Like, do I think people should have the right to bear arms? Yes, I do. At the same time, do I think people should have to take tests to, in order to, you know, legally own a gun? I'm not really certain because then it's like, what would the requirements for the test even be? I mean, would it be a mental test? Would it be a um, a gun safety test, like making sure you know how to actually use the gun and aim the gun? You know, what would this test be? I mean, yes, everyone has a right to bear arms. Everyone has a right to own a gun legally. But there should be a certain level of responsibility when it comes to owning a gun, just as much as there should be a sense of responsibility when it comes to owning a pocket knife or a, or a pocket protector or a, I don't know why I said pocket protector, but I'm just implying that basically if you're, if you own something like that, whether it's a gun collection or a sword collection, not only should you be responsible for making sure that it, not only should you be responsible for making sure that it doesn't fall into the wrong hands, but you should also be responsible on the fact that you know, um, actually, that's pretty much it. You know, just don't go around killing people. I mean, common sense. There's, I really can't elaborate on this even more because it's like, you know, don't kill people. Ta-da, the end. Blah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna go through the legal requirements to own a handgun and you're gonna legally register it, you know, and you're mad at someone, taking someone's life is not the answer. Um, there are other ways to solve personal problems. You could do rant videos about them, like I do. <laughs> the precious. <laughs> All right. So, well, anyways, yeah, you you can just you know. Be honest with the way you feel about the person, and I'm sorry, I get easily distracted. I'm at school, so yeah, you could just be honest the way you feel about the person. You don't have to do stupid stuff and hurt people because that's just bad. There's no good consequences out of it, so if you ever think about hurting someone, don't do it. All right, now. Um, and that's pretty much just all I wanted to cover. You know, gun violence is bad. Now, gun violence in video games. Gun violence in video games is perfectly appropriate because, well, it's in a video game, which means it's fictional. Even if it was based off of real events, it's still a video game. Video games cannot physically hurt people. Therefore, video games about gun violence gun violence like Call of Duty or Gears of War or uh, what's another one, Grand Theft Auto, all those great games that people just love to play and are, and are absolutely obsessed with, you know, it's perfectly fine for them to play it as long as they understand and they completely totally get that it's just a game. That yes, it's a good game and whatever, but you know, at the end of the day, it's still a video game just because you can do it in a video game doesn't mean you can do it in real life. 
you know, blah, 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 so on and so forth. You know, video games are meant to, you know, be played, to have fun with. They're not meant to encourage physical, real-world violence. You know, just because you play Mortal Kombat doesn't mean you're going to um, be able to teleport and shoot ice out of your hands. Just because you play... Um, uh, what's another example? Just because you play Grand Theft Auto doesn't mean you're going to be able to fly your car around the entire city you live in. It doesn't mean you're going to be able to, um, pr you know, summon vehicles magically by pressing in cheat codes on your video game controller. That shit is fantasy. It's not real. Video games are meant for entertainment purposes only. I don't care what retard does what. Um, just because some kid goes off and kills a bunch of people doesn't mean that it's the developer's fault. It doesn't mean that it's the, it's the company's fault for making that game. Um, children do a lot of stupid stuff that they see and that they imitate because they think it's cool, it's okay to do it in real life, and it's not. I mean, I'm an adult, you know, it's like... I know that just because, you know, I see Pikachu evolve into a Raichu on an episode of Pokemon, it it doesn't mean that, you know, if I take an actual rat and, you know, spray paint it yellow with, with orange stripes and, and, like, super glue, like, a gigantic lightning paper cutout lightning bolt to its tail that is going to magically evolve into an even bigger rat with a slightly weirder looking tail just because I, you know, I rub a stone against it. No, it doesn't mean that, because Pokemon's fiction, video games are fictional content. It's all fiction. Even if it's based off of something that's real, it's fiction, so don't imitate it. Yes, you can imitate the way the, the characters in the game or the cartoon or the movie or the manga or the comic book dress and what, the way they wear their hair. Clothing is fine, but when it comes to behavior, no. That's where you have to cross the line and say, no, it's not perfectly acceptable to electrocute someone. It's not perfectly acceptable to um, kill people. It's not appropriate to, um, you know, shoot up schools. None of this shit is appropriate. Don't do it. it it's a video game. It's a cartoon. It's an anime. Just because you see it doesn't mean you should do it. Now, that's all I wanted to say on that. Um, keep in mind that this video is just made purely based off of my biased point of view, biased point of views. You don't have to agree with me. You don't even have to like my opinions. You can have your own opinions. That's your own opinions. But yeah, so like this video if you agree with me, agree with me and agree with my opinions. Dislike this video if you don't. Personally, I think the games are fun. That's why I play them. N nothing else other than that. So, yeah. Bye. <laughs> oh, also, subscribe to my channel. If you like me or you think I'm cool or whatever, subscribe to my channel. Alright, have a nice day. Bye.